So let me start my talk with the uh, first question. You know, what comes to your mind when you think about space? Do you imagine it's very far? You know, space is uh, peaceful, soundless, infinite darkness with billions of stars. But the thing is that the reality is totally different in a space sector. You know, there is one thing which really, you know, stuck my mind when I compare the different sectors such as your IT, your electronics, software, with the space sector, I really feel upset, you know. In 1962, the United States got to the moon with less technology than we have today in our iPhone. Even after 46 years, not even a single country attempted to send a manned mission on the moon. Even our own country, India, you know, are able to send astronauts in space. So I really, you know, feel upset. Even, you know, Sometimes I'm feeling upset when, you know, the people who are sitting in the parliament, they are always raising the question why we are putting the money in a space, uh, you know, space application. I have a question, so if, you know, government stop putting the money in a space application, then how you can use the internet? How you can, you know, access to Facebook, WhatsApp, or Twitter? You know, our life is totally dependent on space technology. We are using a satellites, we are using a lot of, you know, space technology for our day-to-day -day work. And even as a result of which, you know, there's a lack of uh, research activities in our country in the field of space technology. There's a lack of investment and there's a lack of resources. And as a result, there's a lack of, you know, sustainability in the sector of space technology these days. And even many youngsters in our country, you know, are failing, uh, you know, are facing the same problem uh, in the field of uh, space technology. And, you know, I remember. I met with the Dr. APG Abdul Kalam in Delhi few years back, and I discussed about the research work with him. And one thing, you know, uh, uh, he, you know, suggested to me, he said, do something different in the field of space technology and be a multitasker person in your life and do something amazing in the field of space tech. After meeting with Dr. APG Abdul Kalam, you know, I, I researched a lot of things related to space tech, how I can do something different in the field of space technology. And I was always thinking about the questions, you know, related to space commercialization, space business. Could a private space company will do what NASA or ISNO could not? Could a, you know, a private space company could do something, you know, innovative in the field of space technology? Could a private uh, space company, you know, create a sustainability in, in the sector of space? Could a private space company, you know, build a low-cost rockets or, a, you know, manufacture low-cost uh, satellites in India? So these are the questions, you know, uh, I, I always, you know, I thinking, I was thinking. And after that, I decided to start, uh, you know, my own space company. Uh, and after, you know, creating a job with a GLXP, Google Lunar X Prize, I started my own company. And with a vision to develop uh, new technologies in the field of uh, space science. But, you know, there's also an issue, you know, when we start something in the field of uh, space science, because, you know, if we talk about the IT sector, information technology, we can develop anything within a three months and we can launch it in the market. But when we start something in the field of a space technology, our, our main focus is on what shall we do in the next five or ten years, what technology we can build, how we can generate the revenue. You know, today the people are only putting the money in the field of IT or e-commerce, but I personally believe the next big thing is a space technology. And... You know, uh, the thing is that uh, if we can, you know, acquire something in the field of a space tag, and I'm sure it will create a more and more opportunities. People start putting, uh, investing in the field of a space tag, and this way we can reduce the cost of, you know, innovation in the field of space tag, and we can, you know, uh, come up with a more and more technology, and a de demand will increase, and in this way we create a sustainability in the field of uh, space technology. Now the question arises, you know, being an entrepreneur, it's always a question arises, uh, how you can generate a sustainable revenue from the space technology, you know? How you will uh, generate the profit from, this, uh, from the space technology? Whether the stars will generate the you know, profit or your planets will generate the profit, how you can generate? So I believe we have to, you know, correlate a space uh, with the Earth. And I think, you know, space is relevant to the Earth. So we have to bring space down to the Earth because we have a lot of issues on Earth. We have a power issue, we have education, telecommunication, communication. We have a lot of issues, and I think space is, uh, you know, only the solution. We have a solar-based system now. We will provide a GPS navigation system, and I think space is a solution. With the help of our satellites, we can provide a GPS navigation system. With the help of our satellite education, we can provide the education to the rural areas. 
and you know even the bio uh, biochemical people even the pharma people can also do uh, experiments in the microgravity and you know uh, in this way we can provide a lot of solutions uh, to the problem which we are facing on earth these days and i believe you know uh, today the space innovation is increasingly uh, you know greater driven by a space industry and it will also help in the economy of any country if we have a you know good stuff in the hand or in the, in the field of space technology and i believe space is all about two things one is it is about exploration and another is about how do you go out exploit it and make profit from it space is a new frontier of innovation we have spaceships you know nanotechnologies nano satellites we have a 3d printing in space zero gravity in space so this type of stuff uh, you know we can use in the field of space technology and i remember one such uh, you know a project on which i am also working is a space elevator system because you know i have a big vision uh, i even i have a dream to go into space one day even i think many of you have a same dream to go into uh, you know uh, space one day and i am 100% certain that you know uh, everyone will have a chance to go to space one day i know it's very far it's very costly on the richest person can you know afford it here's the concept of a space elevator on which we are uh, 20 working so basically a uh, space elevator is is a transportation system from our ladies and gentlemen welcome on board please fasten and check your seat belts we'll reach lunar 5 at 1730 earth time we'd like to thank you for choosing sts transportation this is the concept on which we are you know currently working space elevator is a transportation system for mars into deep space uh, you know uh, currently we are using a rocket so the shuttle you know to send something in space as we are you know talking about sending a man on mars or a moon but we you know we have to work out on something you know a, a cheaper you know transportation system so space elevator system is one of the best way we can send as many as satellite in space we can send as many as material in space with the help of a space elevator and when we talk about you know a space commercialization or space business you know uh, one thing comes in our mind you know this is is called a make in india concept so you know under the make in india concept we also you know want to manufacture a cube satellites or a small satellites in india so basically uh, if we talk about a cube satellite you know is is uh, is a million dollar industry if you talk about a satellite industry and a cube satellite is a very small satellite of around 1 kg in weight and around 10 cm cube in size only and is having a lot of application we can use in uh, earth amazing and if we talk about the earth amazing sector in india only is having a 450 crore rupees business if we talk about the earth amazing sector and we can you know give our services to the various sectors such as agriculture sector social impact finance business applications we can give you know uh, provide the live data of the disaster uh, with the help of these satellites we can also use these satellites in agriculture we can you know provide the uh, you know data to a big mnc's like reliance or tata with the help of this type of uh, images and we can generate a good revenue also uh, using this thing and uh, the next big thing is in in the space industry is asteroid mining uh, currently you know we are doing a mining uh, like is coal mining and a diamond mining on earth but the next big thing is asteroid mining with the help of you know asteroid mining we can you know mine a precious metal from the space or minerals and it is it itself is a billion dollar industry we can mine something from uh, from space and uh, after that we have a space robotics and we can also use a space uh, robotics uh, like with japan already you know sent a robot on a international space station like an indians can do so so indians are also doing uh, you know in this field and indians are also you know manufacturing a robots uh which will planning to send on a you know on a other planets in near future or like with in near future we can replace the astronauts with the help of uh, you know space robotics so these are the things uh, you know on which uh, uh, we are working uh, but 
you know while we are dream of a beyond uh, we are you know talking about a space space commercialization we are talking about you know business in space sector but uh, there is a one you know a biggest challenge even faced by both the private industry as well as the government industry and the challenge is uh, you know space debris problem space junk problem you know in real